I was going to show you. <gasps> the doll? Oh my God, it is so good. That Even face sculpt is incredible. Before I saw the movie, I was like... Yeah. Do you love... Okay, it's something I wanted to make sure I brought up, but do you love... And this might just be me looking for an Easter egg, but I think the lattice work looks like the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. Like a, a abstract version of the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. Oh, Because the like, yeah, eagle I see head that. and everything. Yeah. Oh my God, are they making him too? I could fuck with a Tony Lung doll, is all I'm saying. <laughs> How are these face sculpts so amazing? It's like witchcraft. But yeah. Oh my god. I <laughs> We could dress him up like his character and in the mood for love. <laughs> Give me my money. Yeah. I have to buy dolls. <laughs> it's so cool. I want both of them. Yeah, definitely. Hello, everybody. I am Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is So I'm Watching This Show. We talk about movies, TV, music, and more. And as always, this is a spoiler show, so you have been warned. Oh, also, since this will also be on the podcast, uh, and we got some comments on the YouTube recently, we want everybody to know that we are fine and we are still producing content, but we are kind of doing at, at our own pace and schedule now, as opposed to rigidly sticking to a Tuesday and Friday release schedule. So we're still here. We will still be releasing yeah. podcast episodes. Yeah. We're just not committed to the twice weekly. Correct. Yeah. We're still going to be releasing We're going to cover new podcasts. releases. We're going to cover yeah. stuff as it like yeah. as it comes. But we're moving into slightly more episodic television yeah. material. We were hard running out of time. <laughs> in which, yeah, we're moving over to uh, YouTube for that. Yeah. So, so if you're only a podcast listener, we do have a YouTube now. Definitely head over there. We've got tons of TV that we're doing. And since October, every podcast episode also has a video component now. So October of last year, yeah. October of last year. So definitely check that out. Um, like we said, we're still doing the podcast, but we're focusing a little bit more on the YouTube now. So just uh, do with that information what you will. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's get into it. So <laughs> Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I honestly, I didn't take notes. I probably. Oh, fuck. I did. Do you need them? Because I don't have. Yeah, I'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. So what I was going to say is that I honestly don't know how much I'm going to say or how long this is going to be. Uh -huh. Because I mostly just watched and loved this. And I'm just like, I've we've been really busy. I know we stay saying that, but I'm yeah. sort of a little bit emotionally tapped out. Oof. And I I just want to give this movie what it deserves. What it deserves yeah. And that's going to be me for 10 minutes being like, it was amazing and I loved it. <laughs> I So I think this is top tier, if not God tier Marvel. This was, for me... This was Winter Soldier. Yeah. This was Black Panther. This was Ragnarok. Like, so the biggest complaints I've seen about it is that some of the CGI fighting when they're in Talo is like muddy. But also, I'm sort of like it's glossy and fantasy, yeah. and we're well, we're like well on the record, me especially, as finding sh shitty CGI charming so long as it's consistent. Also, I don't really care about your CGI when you have a real life dragon <laughs> on set because that just makes we, up for it. We did say spoiler. <laughs> it was spoiler. Okay. Well, my biggest critique is I actually did find it sort of kind of not quite grind to a halt, but there, there, there was a point in the middle where I actually did start to get a little bit like, okay, well, mm. like we need to pick this sure, up. We need to move sure. this along. And it's not that I thought anything should have been edited out or deleted or whatever but there there was a point before we get to, to uh talo talo yeah where i was like i did check my watch i was sort of like what what's happening it would also so it was a miserable theater experience oh for my us. god okay so i was lucky enough <laughs> to see it twice and the first time was at the theater with the reclining chairs and i can't see other see or feel other humans around me but yesterday we went to see this movie at the regular movie theater with the horrible seats. It was the COVID matinee. Oh my <laughs> God. I could feel it getting in me. I can feel you in me. <laughs> so we were there for like 20 minutes early. And then it was like one minute before the movie started, a family of three came and sat next to us. And I was like, 
right next to us. <laughs> and it was like 10 degrees too hot and it was moist it in was, the theater. It was damp. It was and they like lots of phones. they were they were very nice, but they were texting. At one point, both of them were on the phone. Yeah, like it was two thousand and three. I I have I I was like what? Like we were at the St. Charles Town. Center. Yeah, he dropped his phone under the, the seat. Person of the man in, in front, front of yeah. him had to like. No. There were multiple kids had to go to the bathroom multiple times, one of which who chose to take every other step like a yeah. frog. It was it was actually horrible. It was so, a horrible viewing experience of an excellent movie. I mean, get your money, Marvel, but <laughs> the, the, the whole TV. No, this needed. This was a big screen movie. I yeah. so. I don't know where I like. I don't know where to start. I I I loved it. I was so in. Honestly, the last time I remember being this like physically pulled into a movie was Winter Soldier. Ooh, like okay. I remember watching Winter Soldier and like flinching. Like mm. the the action, so good. The action scenes and the direction of the action in Winter Soldier was so visceral, and I could feel that here. Mm -hmm. It was so well. It's it's all very martial arts, hand to hand combat stuff, which is really it feels very present. Uh, but it like it is they utilize both, you know, quick, slow and standard speed. Yeah. But I didn't get lost in it. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't bogged down. Like I it was more like choreography. It was more like watching a dance. OK, which brings me to my favorite part of this movie, <sighs> the opening in Talo with. Uh, it's very homage. I was like, let's crouching go tiger and hero. Mm -hmm. I was like, let's do hero. Yeah. So it's. um. It's the dad. It's Tony Lung and the mom. Uh, Paula Chen. I miss her. She, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She was exquisite. First of all, stunning. I <laughs> wish she had a character poster. She was because yeah. we were in that Black Panther thing where I was like, well, I'm up to here with like dolls that female, you want. Well, dolls, but oh. I was like interesting female characters. Oh, yeah. They're like were, he's surrounded by women. Yeah, easily four. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And so he's trying to like get into Talo, and she's like the guardian of the passageway. Oh, the fantasy! It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. She's at this like babbling brook. She's wearing this beautiful outfit. She's got kind of a weird little like mask across the bottom of her mouth. And then they get into this fight, and she it it is just dancing because it doesn't go as far as Crouching Tiger no. Hidden Dragon. They're not like dancing on the the tops of bamboo trees, but. But I mean, it was so exquisite. it was so romantic. It yeah. was so whimsical. And he was so good. He was so interesting because we talk a lot about how like Marvel has like a villain problem. And I mean, it Finn, you know what, what it is. Yeah. And he was just it, he's introduced to us sort of as a villain and he plays the role of the villain. Mm -hmm. But he's he was such an interesting and dynamic character. He's and, very human. Yeah, and I, I just love that this, like, centuries-old warlord was so captivated. nuanced and yeah, captivating. There was a yeah. lot of, like, I, I'm well, going to... And, and captivated by her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I was just, I was <laughs> I know, just he, captivated. Okay, he is captivating. Tony Lung is captivating. <laughs> I, like, I've never seen In the Mood for Love, but apparently it is, like, really good, really sexy, really interesting. And I'm just like... Writing it in my it list. just like it, it like like right out of the gate. He's like, like I said, it's like a thousand years ago. Warlord. He's riding the like I, when I first heard Shang Chi and the Ten Rings, I was like, too many rings. I don't even know <laughs> it what they is are. Too many. It's too many rings. Because <laughs> I, I even said seven like a week ago. Yeah. And it was like it's ten, and I was like, why is it ten? Well, I'm on board. <laughs> no, I'm, on I'm on board. board <laughs> I'm on board now. But I was and like, that's not even a magical number. Like it is. Well, it, but the five and five. Yeah, it's perfect. And in the first few minutes of the movie, he goes, kuchunk, kuchunk. Yeah. I was in. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. I don't know what it is. Like, why so few movies are prepared to give us just fucking fantasy and just like trust us to keep up with it and like why people yeah. don't realize that just like because I kind of intentionally avoided I watched the first trailer, which was basically the bus fight. Mm-hmm. And so I could tell it was going to be funny and good action. And then I had kind of avoided it. And there was a moment where I messaged you guys because I was in Tennessee and I was like, are there dragons in this movie? <laughs> and Will texted me back a Winona Ryder gif where I was like, maybe. maybe. And I, I had seen like two or three like Instagram ads or like posters or like stuff. And all of them had this like dragon 
but it it, it like was the a kind motif, kind of yeah. And I, I just had accepted that it was part of the style. But then, like one of them, I was like, "That's photo real looking," <laughs> and I was like, "Wait." Because, again, I thought this was going to be martial art in San Francisco. And I was like, I mean, I'll watch it because I have to. And so there's a scene early on where uh, I don't know any uh, of their names. Apologies. Wenwu. If you're talking about Tony Leung, Uh it's Wenwu. Yeah. Where he's looking through a book and there was a. So I know it as a Kitsune or a Nine Tails. Mm -hmm. Kitsune is apparently Japanese. So the Chinese is Huli Jing. Ooh. I was trying to find the proper name so I could say them. I have like a passing familiarity with yeah. a lot of them from like my well, my years as a mythology gay. <laughs> uh, but the Chinese was it's very on the outskirts for yeah. me. That's just and as cool of a name as a kitsune. <laughs> Huli Jing. Yeah, that's pretty great. H-U-L-I yeah. and then J-I-N-G. Mm-hmm. So I think it's Huli Jing. Yeah. And I just like, or again, Nine Tails Pokemon. Mm-hmm. And I, picks. I just sort of... <laughs> I just sort of looked at Kristen and I was like, he's got drawings in a book and he, he literally goes, is there a Kitsune in this movie? And, and I, she I was just, just dead anything. straight. Was she like, was like, <laughs> 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 and I just like could have never guessed. And I love, I don't know. I love what this is saying about the MCU, the broader MCU. Cause it's like, sure. I mean, we've established that Valkyrie has a winged horse. Mm-hmm. So where and also this movie touches on that because there's a scene early on with Shang Chi and Aquafina was Katie, Katie, and they're having lunch or dinner with like two friends in similar positions with them, and they're talking about coming back from the blip. And again, I, I desperately want and need for these movies to continue to yeah. unpack a, a a cosmic event like that. It, it would have the ramifications would be beyond, and I do like that. There's a healthy skepticism Mm -hmm. like they're not they're they're not entirely. I don't know. It was it was very interesting. Okay, so Aquafina gets on board very quickly (laughs) and it's like not until she was like, well, then the dragon dragon spit out a magical water map. And I'm just like, what the hell? Like, so now I don't know what's real. (laughs) And so it's like, I do love that there is still. The skepticism, but what the one thing about the friends where the one is like, we live in a world now where half the population can just like disappear, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't think that's going to happen twice. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, there's going to be a few years in between. Sure. (laughs) Enough time for a phase or two. (laughs) You'll get get, like just reacclimated and then you'll disappear again. Kay Blanchett's got three pictures booked. I mean, we got (laughs) to we got to look at the turnover, the turnaround here. Oh, man. But. So yeah, it, it 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 just had this like very playful the their relationship, yeah. Shang and Katie. It's the kind of thing where it's like, I don't I don't want it to be romantic. It did it wasn't in this movie. Yeah, I was very with you. I like I was like, don't kiss. Oh my god. And then Will was like, Don't you want Aquafina to get hers? And I was like, I mean, sure, sure, of course. But then at the end, I finally was like, Okay, I was like, it it can develop. If it gets to that place, fine. But we, you and I are very passionate about depictions of platonic male-female relationships. And it's- That aren't related and when neither participant is a homosexual. Like, it's very, like, two straight, one male, one female who can be friends. It's possible. I mean, I'm a little bit, and even though I, I don't love this movie as much as you do when Harry met Sally, I actually am a little bit hairy where I'm like- I think even for those relationships, I think that one party would probably be far more willing than the other. Willing, but not necessarily pushing Pining, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is, that's fine. If you're, I mean, you know. But the psychology, about the that. psychology for me behind it is not so much that I, it, it, it's not from a sexual place as it is from a feminist place. Because it's like, I want to see worlds depicted where women exist as, as Their own. interesting whole yeah valuable entities of their own aside from what they could offer to the man, the man standing next to 100%. them. And so, Which and, again, and especially we, we did have three examples of that in this yeah, movie. So. And, and especially to have young men grow up to see at no point is, uh, is any of the women's gender called into question mm-hmm. by anybody. And well, so the sister Xiaoling Hers is for, by her father, sure, but not by anybody else, mm-hmm. and not and by zero people in Talo. 
But I, I just sort of think, because like I said, I, I don't know that I necessarily, like I said, I would be fine if they were to go romantic, but it just sort of, because I was like, they were also, it, it was feeling very Ant-Man and the Wasp with their dynamic mm-hmm. and especially the like cutting back to the friends, the the, mm-hmm. the casual humor elements of it. Uh, uh, and frankly, I mean, Ant-Man and the Wasp, there is a bit more of a romantic yeah, yeah, yeah. chemistry there, but I don't know it, it because I mean I do I I do I am also very passionate about the notion of the Asian leading male. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because he also is uh, Simi Lu. He mm-hmm. is so appealing. He is. First of all, he is adorable. <sighs> he has got the cutest face, <laughs> and then he's also so hot. <laughs> Well, because you know that's such a good point. Because it's, it's like, like the perfect combination. He's also he's very very like sweet. Like yeah. it seems like he would giggle, but also like a full man. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's a that's a Venn diagram. That <laughs> one of my favorite parts of this movie is when they're in the like underground fighting ring in Macau, and he just comes out into the like thing, and Aquafina sees him, and she's like, uh, and then he looks down. And she goes, "Where's your shirt?" <laughs> She, they were just like take it off <laughs> it was hilarious just the way she delivered that what happened to your shirt uh-huh. Very uh, funny. so I'm trying to think because I was on a trajectory but I forgot the the, the bus fight so because it in and of itself even though I kind of like shaded it earlier where I was like that's what all this movie is going to be mm-hmm. <laughs> it's spectacular it's, that's it's the so first good. act yeah. it's spectacular the action was so visceral I flinched so many times. You really did. The, it was like <laughs> the biggest one where I flinched was when they're like finally like safe, like all of the bad guys are off of the bus part, but then the girl almost flies out and gets her head crushed face first, and he under like grabs the garbage yeah. truck and he grabs her and pulls her back. Oh god! Hold on, everybody! We make a good team. Yeah. It was, it was spectacular. It was so good. It was so, ugh. All, like, really all of the fight scenes were excellent. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed all of the They didn't overstay their welcome. Uh, really not, because I don't even think the, the, the final battle, like the big third act, I mean, yeah, it went for a while mm-hmm. and like it could possibly be trimmed down. But I didn't feel yeah. pummeled by it because it, it's well, that it's, thing. It stayed very human sized. I was going to say the opposite. Well, felt. okay, I mean the actual physical combat stayed very human sized. Well, and I didn't get lost in it. Yeah. Like I had such I had such an understanding of the scope and the scale and the size of everything and where everyone was within this space. Sure. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things that I think some lesser directors or cinematographers or I I mean I don't even know, but it like that entire I keep wanting to call it Tovlo. You got a perfect one, so put it on me. <laughs> That's a pop star. Ta- Talo. Talo. That whole segment. Mm-hmm. I, I, it was, well, because in addition to the, what were they called again? The Nine Tails? The Huli Jing. Yeah. In addition to that, we've got the like crazy, like Chinese had- horse things. And then we've got Morris. And then we've got like the humongous lion dogs. Mm-hmm. Amazing. And we had phoenixes. And phoenixes. Uh, yeah. So like. So the, that's the thing is like there weren't only three of or two or three of the things that I always counted. There were seven. You. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. And, and, and frankly, that wasn't enough. Well, sure. <laughs> I wanted more. Um, but because the like horse antler things, I was wondering because unicorns are in uh, Chinese mythology as well. Oh. And so I was trying to look it up. And that's one of the things I laughed at before we were filming is there is apparently a Marvel character named Unicorn. And he's like a villain and he has a laser on his head. <laughs> and it made me laugh. That's less cool than uh, an actual unicorn. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but. Yeah, the 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 big like fuck off Chinese lion dog thingies. I yeah. love them. Uh, my old dog we used to say looked like one of those the, that would stand guard, and they were just like, oh, it, I don't know. It was, it was also so the one of them fucking wrecked that one guy. He tried to tase him, and he was like, get out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we had <laughs> Ben Kingsley back. 
I literally, the minute before it, I was like, they are, they're like hearing the voice and they're walking through the tunnels. And I was like, it's Ben Kingsley. I recognized the voice, but I didn't place it. I was like, if this is fucking Ben Kingsley. And then it was. Well, so I remember when Iron Man 3 came out, I remember. People were pissed that he was the Mandarin. They were like, this is a character that is not this. And this is a shitty way to do it. And this is such this vindication. But it's like, hey, we didn't have to DC. We didn't have to reboot anything. Yeah. We didn't have to do a fifth Batman origin movie mm-hmm. in 15 years. We were able to, in world, yep. reclaim yep. this this story well, and, and make both versions work. better. Uh, yeah, they it make this, this <laughs> makes Iron Man 3 make sense. Because I didn't even remember, maybe I maybe I did at the time, but I certainly didn't retain it, that that he was also, the Mandarin was meant to be the same one from the first Iron Man movie. Yeah. Who, like, kidnapped Tony when he created the first. Mm-hmm, yeah. And so it, like. Well, it's, like, it was, I guess, essentially, it was, like, using Wen Wu's, like, aura, like, the aura of the Ten Rings, but not with anything behind it because that was mm-hmm. he was and then they named him after a chicken dish <laughs> and laughed my ass <laughs> off it was so funny i was reading an article about like the whole like fu manchu of it all and yeah. how this this was a very loaded property mm-hmm. that managed to just bypass all of the bullshit all of the horrible <laughs> shit that it could have fallen like, traps it could have fallen into well i mean I, so many people in front of and behind the camera are asian in this movie so it like i think that was definitely a huge part well of and it. for me with the exception of aquafina and michelle yo i didn't know any of them and not one of them feels out of place or undeserving of the right. mantle like so i've seen tony lung and some stuff and i've seen um master guangbo i mean i'm sure i've yeah. seen them but i was i didn't know that like i didn't know That's them pretty, oh and then um the guy who was running the ring with mm-hmm. the sister um he was also in crazy rich agents mm-hmm. but yeah not a ton of people. I, I'm with you there. Not a ton of people. But I'm like, our like, our like roster of five heroes, like I said, they could stand next to any and all Avengers. And oh, I, would, yeah. I would absolutely be. I am desperate for the movie where Simulu and Aquafina are interacting with the others. We got like a tiny little bit of like with Wong. And then we got like a little bit of like holographic Captain Marvel and the oh. Hulk. I still don't have a handle on, on her, her hair. hair. <laughs> I'm with you. I was like, we're getting further away I'm from with it. You for sure. But that's the thing is like, we got a little bit of that. I am desperate for them to be in the mix. Mm-hmm. I want them in the mix. It's I, like very like when we saw Ant Man, and I was like, Paul Rudd needs to speak to Captain America right now. I also like the Marvels just sort of insisting. Like, I loved having just Wong be the connecting like thing. I, I was it. all about. Yeah. I, I love that it seems. Phase four is going to be connected through Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Like everything's through Doctor Strange. And that's very interesting to me. Because it was one of the lesser performing, but. But he is like Tony 2.0. So it and, works. A, a, and at a certain point, I mean, if you get a talented enough team, yeah. you know, the, well, I mean, we just talked about how from not not for us, but for many people, Thor was sort of like the bottom yeah. rung and then Ragnarok turned it into a top tier. So yeah. it's like. This stuff, as long as you have a talented enough team behind and in front of the camera, yeah, anything is game. And I, I just, like have chills. I'm like, it was so, so exciting. yeah. yeah. I, I, I just like, and and also, I mean, we just went through this whole goddamn pandemic, and we're still going through it. Oh, this was what maybe the fifth movie we've seen in a theater in mm-hmm. like two years, and I was real whelmed with the other movies we saw we've we, real. Like, we really we really broke the seal this year with a like i just a raft of mediocre shit in a row i mean even like i liked black widow fine but yeah. even that was loaded as well hell. and i loved the jungle cruise but it was medium <laughs> i mean i liked it fine you were all in you're you were like me with cinderella yeah, no, I, was, I was there for it i was there they're getting a sequel so jungle oh the cruise. jungle cruise not Cinderella. I was like, Ugh. yeah, no, I'm excited. Um, I guess we didn't talk about Razor Fist. <laughs> so, all things considered, I wish he had one or two moments, particularly in the middle, to make me like him. Like he could have still been a villain, but sure, but funny. And in particular, 
when and I don't remember who it was that like appeals to his sense of reason. It's was the like, sister. It's Shelling. Yeah, she yeah. was like, "Fight with us," and he was like, "We're not gonna fight with uh, them." And then like something happens. And he then, can't kill the yeah. soul bringer or whatever. But it was it was even the way that it was the way the line was written where he was like, "We're gonna." <sighs> now I can't even remember what he said. But the, we we were gonna work together. He just was like, "Yeah." I wish it was more direct with more like, listen to the lady or yeah, like, sure, more, sure. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, wish I was- kept on being like, I kept on wanting the two of them to have more chemistry. I kept mm-hmm. on wanting the two of them to like, I kept on wanting that to happen. As I liked him. He to, wasn't, he wasn't bad yeah. at all, but there was, th- there was just something he, he, he could have used one more thing sure. to really bring him. Well, I mean, he is still around mm-hmm. and he is still helping her. So there is room for Florian Montano to still be in this franchise. So we're fans of spoiler alert for alert for Falcon and Winter Soldier, I guess. Mm. We're fans of Emily Van Camp and even Sharon Carter. Mm-hmm. They did not nail that. No. And they nailed this. They nailed this hard. I was like, because <laughs> at the end, I was like, you know, because it, it's also in this is the if you haven't seen this yet and you are still wanting to go see it, there are two credit scenes. There's one and then one that's like way late. So in the second one, she has taken over the Ten Rings, even though Shang-Chi thinks that she's dismantling it. I believe this could go either way. It really no, I I she I, could be taking it back because she doesn't have the rings. He I don't does. I don't think she's going I don't think she's going evil villain, but I do see her going very neutral. I see sure. her going very my best like pirate or like yeah. sort of like Well, and she was letting women train, which was nice because her dad wouldn't let her train. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, I mean I just was kind of there all along. And then in the first post credit scene with Wong in one of the um what do they call them? The like Doctor Strange like buildings. Oh, Fuck, we're usually so good at the Institute yeah. or something. Isn't it an institute? Sure. No? Whatever. Anyway, they're there and they're like dissecting the rings, like trying to figure out what's going on. And they're oh, like right. older than anything. And they're sending out a beacon signal. Well, because they even, did they even mention the Eternals? And I was like, I looked, so I looked at the original um, release. Yeah. And it's not the way things have been released. And so initially Eternals was meant to come out before this. Oh, okay. So I was wondering if, if there maybe, was anything. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but they, they're they ancient technology. Yeah, uh, but like older than anything. Well, and they're sending out a yeah. newly beeped beaked beacon, beacon. <laughs> <laughs> to somewhere. Uh, yeah, we had Wong was was consulting with Captain Marvel and uh, Banner. It was Bruce, not yeah. Professor Hulk. He looks like Mark Ruffalo again. Um, I like Professor Hulk. I, don't I did too. I'm very curious. And he also, um, his snap hand was in a sling still. I could believe that yeah. that's permanent. Probably. I mean, they'll probably do something. Something but, else with it, yeah. I mean. Yeah, no, I know. It even fucked up Thanos. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, what, what, M- Melvin, M- Marvin, what was? Morris. Morris, Morris. <laughs> I don't know if he was real. So the other thing that I laughed at before we were recording was I was trying to find the names of the all the, the different creatures, the creatures. And so when I was like googling and clicking on things, uh, basically I went to Wikipedia and I pulled up the plot, and it was like they get to Tao Lo with a with like a host of <laughs> magical Chinese creatures, and I clicked on that and it just brought me to like a glossary of, and I was oh, like, no, I was like that is the opposite of helpful. <laughs> That's hilarious. Because like the horse thing, like I said, I didn't know if it was maybe a unicorn yeah. or God, we didn't even talk about it. I, and I did. I did want a mermaid when yeah. he was in the water. Mermaids are in Chinese mythology. Well, uh, you looked at me and you were like mermaids. And I was like, no, I knew there, were, there like, wasn't going to no, be. No, sorry. And, and to which I was like, DCEU gave me mermaids. Sort of. Sco- no, literal mermaids. Where? The Fisherman King. They looked like fish. They were... No, they were merfolk. Okay. There were ones in the arena, like, swimming around. They had fish faces. They had human faces. They had scales. Those are mermaids. I don't know what to tell you. She had human breasts. (laughs) Here. Yeah, pull up a picture, because now I don't remember what you're talking about. Because the ones where they had, like, the daughter and they, like, were all Mm -hmm. pearly, they had fish faces. They had, like, scales. Yeah. That's not not a mermaid. Sure. (laughs) (laughs) Humanoid fish people. 
<laughs> I love that you were like, she had breasts. It counts. Because <laughs> I was like, Dolph Lundgren and Amber Heard have legs. So they don't count. Yeah, I mean, I... That is a mermaid. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Pull up the picture and audience pull. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. I mean, yes, it's like fins and stuff, but it's like... <laughs> I'm going to put it on Twitter. <laughs> is this a mermaid? Well, and there was like, because because in the aqua, like, I mean, that's from the straight up comics. Okay, sure. In the comics. Yeah. So like, I mean, in we might see these somewhere else. Sure. But... It is closer than anything oh, the MCU accurate. has it's given me. It's definitely closer. That's accurate. But but second best, if it can't be a mermaid, it was that boss dragon. She was amazing. <sighs> also, the coloring on her. It was so weird. It's, white and like reddish pink and then green, like but sagey it's, green. It's like opaque. Yeah, I mean. Like it's like an opal almost. Amazing. Like like under, like her skin underneath yeah. is what's colored. <sighs> she was so big. I was genuinely devastated when the darkness whatever was like Sucking killing her soul, yeah. and then i also thought we were gonna lose the sister i thought so too i was like she's the only I, bitch wearing white in here i started to like tear yeah. up i would like it got me it got me i don't know i loved this maybe it's maybe it's i've just been so starved because i've i've enjoyed i have absolutely enjoyed the disney plus tv shows but in spite of everything they say that they were tv shows yeah. on disney plus you know what i mean the thing the only thing that yes i definitely agree with you the thing that annoys me is that it's like now i feel like we're in phase four this is the third movie or the second movie i guess in phase four and i'm just like this feels like it I don't know. Well, we've got like five coming in the next 12 months. So yeah, I just like this, <laughs> this though. I was like, now we're cooking with gas. Cause it's like, I, they consider, you know, far from home, Spider-Man far from home, still phase three. And I disagree. And then black widow didn't do anything. You know, I mean, it was like great and I liked it, but it didn't do anything to the plot. It and was, it's like, it was loose now. ends. It yeah. was tying up loose ends. And so the thing and is, and then like, introducing Florence Pugh, <laughs> and that that's been such a a thing for me, especially with the Disney Plus shows, where it was like I became accustomed to a certain amount of spectacle and a certain amount of mind blowing reveals, yeah, because we kept building, 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 and yes, I know that 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 we have to reset, but I I it, it, it's not until now that I feel like okay, now this, we're this in a does place, feel yeah. like a new leaf. I cannot wait. For these new characters to now interact with the old new characters who mm -hmm. are now the old character. Like, yeah. I don't know. 100%. I, I, I mean, nine and a half out of ten. Yeah. Like, I also, I the thing for me is like, what, and this is going to kind of be shady for Black Widow, which we've already talked about a little, our issues and everything, but... I I don't understand how a dragon and a like Cthulhu fight is somehow more grounded and realistic than than whatever the fuck was happening in that floating city in the sky. You know what I mean? It's it's like that's bad. Like it, this should not have been more realistic than that. <laughs> not, As I not said, felt so much more <laughs> photo real dragon. It was very cool. It was it, just like Game of Thrones, where I was like, no, but the dragons are real. Like where are they now? Can I go pet them? Oh uh, man, yeah, I I I absolutely loved it. So watch this space for a Morris plushie at some point. Well, we didn't say so. I I Morris won me over. I was a little bit begrudging because he's like he's like a peacock pig. She calls him a chicken pig. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't have a face, and that's what, that's face. what threw me. Although, but he's apparently sensitive about that. Yeah. How does Tra Trevor know what he says? Well, Trevor has evidently been there for like years, <laughs> long enough. Now. To... Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the Trevor, I, I never would have guessed. I never would have been like, oh man, this real like weak point of Iron Man three is going to fit in Just so shine. well. And I mean, it obviously is on the strength of Ben Kingsley. Mm -hmm. His performance is so good. He just like starts reciting the fool's lines from King Lear when <laughs> it's too funny. It's too funny. Well, and then when when Morris is thinks he's dead, yeah. And he, I got there like a second before it happened. I was like, oh, he's playing dead. Yeah. And he tells Morris to, and Morris just flops. On his back and like an like, ottoman. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, there's probably so much more we could have said. I definitely could have been way more thoughtful, but I was yeah. mostly just like. We're riding the vibe still. Uh, was, also, um, just a quick, I think if Will can find uh, a shot of it, 
there is a moment in the middle where uh, Wen Wu takes baby Shang-Chi to like on a hit, essentially. And he is wearing this like. Like, I don't know, 90s Hong Kong type of like jacket and outfit. Woof. That was hot. <laughs> I was into that. I don't remember. So. <laughs> oh, man, it was so good. He is such a handsome guy. Yeah. Just like. Wall to wall eye candy in this movie. <laughs> uh, also, this is apparently uh, Zhaoling. Her name is uh, I don't know what the accent in there. Menger Zhang. Uh, her first movie ever. First anything really ever. She was quite good. Yeah, yeah. I was impressed. So I'm excited for her in the future too. So yeah, awesome. Well, the usual like and subscribe. Yep. So I'm watching dot com. Patreon slash so I'm watching this show. Yep. All of that. Yeah. Cash app. Venmo, Twitter, that's why I'm watching. Instagram, that's why I'm watching the show. Go see Shang-Chi. I mean, amazing. I, I imagine also it will be on Disney Plus for Christmas, probably. Mm -hmm. That seems right. Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, but I mean, two, four, four thumbs up for us here. Very good. Yeah. Super good time at the theater. Except for that it was terrible. <laughs>